Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start Hades formal blood training. So uh, two seasons ago, Hades did an actual blood trail. Uh, just let, let him go, saw what happened because I couldn't find a buck that I shot and uh, he found it for me. And then this year we did two training blood trails where I used the actual natural trail that the buck took, um, which is on footage on the channel. And then I did another one where I collapsed a doe, so I, I drug it. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually start from the beginning as if he's never done any of this and we're going to start his formal training for uh, VGP as well as potentially United Blood Trackers testing. Um, and how we're gonna do this to start is I'm not gonna use any deer, deer blood, tarsal scent or anything like that. Is I'm gonna start from the position I'm in now and go to about the corner of that field in a straight line with the wind coming towards us, pushing all the scent um, towards us. And what I'm going to use is a chunk of deer liver. Uh, if you've ever been around this stuff, you know it's pretty pungent. It's very um, mucousy. It's going to leave a very distinct, strong smell, and that's fine. And I'm just going to drag it with some twine. Not very long. I'm not trying to obscure human scent, anything like that. Um, all I'm doing is I'm going to get Hades' nose to the ground and give him a find it command and have him take me down the path and then what we'll do after this is successful is we'll make it a little longer or we'll add a turn or have the wind um, to our back or a crosswind something like that I gotta reread um, the literature on that and then after we're comfortable after I'm comfortable with that I've got plenty of liver to do this in uh, we will move to blood hide and then progressively dilute that blood more and more um, adding turns, making complicated, extending the um, the aging time. So today I'm going to drag this. After I drag it, I'm going to go get the dog, maybe five minutes of age. Uh, the potential end goal is upwards of eight to 20 hours, even more potentially. Um, it just depends how far we want to take Hades on that. But uh, that's enough of the future stuff. So again, I'm going to drag it from here to this corner, straight line with the wind coming towards us, giving all that scent. And the angle is going to be from uh, down there. So we're going to start off very small and we're going to progressively get bigger. So thanks for watching and uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So we got the liver on the string. I'm going to make a good initial scent point. Just make it real strong so that he knows. Now all I'm going to do is just walk slowly that way. Good boy. Good boy. 
boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so that's uh, that's it. So um, restarted him a few times. But the thing was happening. I don't if you noticed he was stopping. Is he would run and get um, some leash pressure, and he was stopping. And I think that's because of low training. So you know, in our low training, you can go back and watch those videos. Um, the check cord on his neck when he was either getting uh, initially stemmed or with the low post, um, I think he was hitting that pressure and just doing what he did naturally. So that's all right. Well, I got him going. Um, at least he wasn't dragging me across the field. Uh, if you notice, he was off to the side a little bit, so the the wind wasn't directly at our face due to uh, the diagonal nature. So the wind scent was at first in our face and then pushed to the side, and so he was following the air scent and not the ground scent, which is a little weird for him since he's kind of a tracking dog and not a true dog, but um, that's all right. But so next time, we'll stretch it out a little further, um, add a turn to it, do that a couple times with the liver, real strong scent, and then we'll we'll move on to uh diluted blood and hide but uh overall pretty good i knew he would do fine he's he's done three on deer um and one failed attempt so that's all right but uh this is gonna be the start of our blood tracking series this is not professional help by any means or uh advice by any means i'm basically teaching myself how to blood track uh through books and other videos i'm just documenting my progress and how hades does but if uh you've worked your way through VGP blood tracking or the United Blood Trackers um, testing or even like AKC scent work and you have any advice for me let me know down below I'd appreciate it so thanks for watching